Hey y'all. Hey. So listen, listen, listen. I got some HIV story time today, y'all. Um, I have been trying to figure out how to do this video for maybe about two weeks. Um, yeah, about two weeks I've been trying to figure out how to put this video together. But this morning, this morning, I decided to just do it. It's no way around it. I even tried to write some notes down to get it done. I couldn't even, I couldn't even, I couldn't even put it together in my head on how to deliver this video but i'm about to get right to it though y'all listen first thing first i want y'all to like and subscribe to the channel y'all it is about hiv things related to hiv is about encouragement and it is the life of a woman me of course um living living with hiv not allowing hiv to live in me right big difference so i share different situations y'all but listen i experienced this in my life in my personal life before i actually created a storyline from it in one of my books and i counseled a young woman that experienced this same exact thing and it is really 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 bad <laughs> it's really bad i like i get emotional and upset talking about it so if i start cussing and get all out the way y'all just don't pay me no attention because i be getting upset about this because it really really bothers me it, it it makes me angry. It makes me so angry, y'all. Listen, women, it's a lot of women that's HIV positive, y'all. It is so many of us. And there's a lot of women that stay with the man that gave them HIV for whatever reason. Kids, whatever. Love, whatever. I don't care. Whatever it was. Uh, we stay. They stay. People stay with people that is a cause um, or where it came from, right? But for a woman to stay with the person that gave her HIV and then to watch him attempt to cheat on her and not only attempt to be successful at cheating is a whole nother pain. It, it's so many levels. Ugh. Listen, it's levels and levels and levels and levels of this pain that a lot of us go through that a lot of y'all have no clue it's one thing to be hiv positive that's a that's a that's a pain to know where you got it from is another pain for that person to treat you like garbage is another pain to watch them possibly hurt other people is another pain you is just on an ongoing fucking pain a, a roller coaster of pain let me write that down <laughs> let me write that down i just i just made it up right now ongoing roller coaster pain some of us uh some of us cheat back to maintain the mental um some of us cheat back to maintain our mental state from what we what we're doing in our pain some of us get sad depressed suicidal some of us kill ourselves it's and some of us just sit and take it like a champ and just let niggas do them and we do nothing we sit and just get cute. Cover up our pain with lashes, makeup, jewelry, clothes, cars, all of this. And the whole time, you're dying inside. You're dying every day. But anyway, I went all off, 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 off. But listen, one of my people that I'm, and it's so weird. This lady told me her whole story and I put it in a book. She hadn't even read the book yet. Listen, her husband gave her HIV. They're not together anymore for whatever reason. She goes to the grocery store. And a woman walked up to her and introduced herself and said, as you, da -da 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 -da, wife. And she said, yes. They went outside of the store and had a conversation for over two hours about her husband that gave her HIV that she stayed with, that she loved, that's the father of all her children. I think they got like five kids. She listened to this lady tell her everything about her husband. When I was listening to that, you know, I have to be a professional, right? I was on the phone like, 
<sighs> I was so upset. This is why I was getting upset. And I, I probably will, I, I have to, God have to work on me with this. Women is so fucking mean, nasty, and trifling. We are, me too. I didn't have my, my share of fun too, doing goofy stuff. Women are evil. There's a lot of us that are evil, and we don't even know how evil we are. How can you go tell that wife about your problems with her husband? How dare you? That's funny, right? How do a mistress or a sad chick walk up to a wife and tell her all her problems she got with her man, with her husband? Let's think about the logic of that. You need to be smacked. I said, do that lady know that he's HIV positive? She said, no. What? You sitting here crying about, he he got another girlfriend, you mad. I'm, I'm his wife. And you telling me he's cheating on you. Why you think he ain't in the house with me? <laughs> Did you stop thinking about that? But the, Women gets on my last nerve. Be trying to have a relationship with men that have wives. I don't understand it. How can you have a successful relationship with somebody else's husband? You have to, listen, you have to figure out why that man ain't at home with his wife and his kids. You have to figure out what this man is struggling with. You have to figure out what that wife is going through. Why they not together? And then you have to figure out, can you, can you handle that? But instead, y'all be thinking y'all take these men out of the home. Y'all take these cheating men out of the home with his wife and his kids. And you make a man out of him. Baby, how? If God couldn't make a man out of him in the house with the wife and kids under the covenant of God, how do you think you can make a, make a man out of somebody else's husband? Mm. No, we could cheat on you too. He's gonna treat you bad too. Your kids gonna see you cry. Everything you're gonna and you're gonna go through the same thing the wife did. That's what make us the same. Y'all, y'all women seem to think that y'all are better than wives. You're not, baby. You're not better than a wife. Y'all gonna y'all gonna pain the same. He's gonna cause you guys the same pain. I'm no better than you, and you no better than me. This is the thing women need to get. The Bible says a woman will desire her husband. Uh, I, I had to really research that word. Desire. It's like a thirst, a want. It's like I need it. I can't die. I can't. I would die if I can't have it. Think about so many women sleeping with other people's men. Other people. Why? <laughs> sleeping with other people's boyfriends. Sleeping with other people's fiancés. Sleeping with other people's um, husbands. Sleeping with their friends, men, and husbands. Women are trifling. Yes. I can say it because I used to be one. I used to be a trifling gutter trap. Anybody got to say it for me. I ain't scared to say it. That's why I that's why I don't I don't I don't feel bad saying stuff that I say because I did it before. And because I did it before, I know how treacherous I was. So I can only imagine other people. But anyway, y'all can't fix these men by having Listen, baby, you can't suck him into being a good man to you. You can't love him into being a good man for you. You can't like him into being a good man for you. You can't bat him into being a good man to you. You cannot do that. A man has to desire to change his life for himself. Not you, not the kids, not the job, not the nothing. He has to say, you know what? I'm tired of living like this. Is another way. It has to be another way. I have to care more about myself as a man. That's when a man change. Women seem to think that they can do. You can't do that. He got to do it because he want to do it and just be with you. And and um. Now listen, it is possible for a man to be married, leave his wife, and go over with another woman, and be a totally different person. It's possible. Maybe they was not equally yoked. We don't know. It's possible. But it's not about the woman. It's about the man desiring to change. And then being with a woman that know her position as a woman and a future wife. And that can, <laughs> y'all better get this.
y'all better get this baby y'all better get this that's a whole nother flip side to what i'm supposed to be talking about not just going on and on but listen i asked her did you tell her that he was hiv positive she said no that ain't my business actually it's not her business the sad chick mistress girlfriend whatever came to her to tell her her problem she having with her husband she could console her and encourage her. She can't tell her that man that man HIV positive. I would have. You know I would have. I would have told her something. You got some butterflies in your stomach. Go to the doctor. I would have figured out some type of way to, to tell that little baby. But that's just me. I'm uh. I'm at a different stage of my HIV status than some other people. But some people they ain't they ain't ready to say that out loud. Not to save somebody's life, to even accept that for themselves, to say out loud to another person. They can't do it. But listen, it's something else. Women are something else. You laugh at you laugh at the wife when you when you sucking on her husband. You 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 freaking on him. You uh, rolling your little your little booty on him. You giving him all your money. You calling him. You getting all his attention. You laughing at the wife like you really doing something. And whole time. This man could possibly be HIV positive and you could possibly be HIV positive too if this is the type of man that don't take care of himself. But you is laughing with your friends, with your family, with your coworkers about this woman. And when you done had enough with her husband that she's no longer with, you want to go in a grocery store and have a conversation with her about her husband. It's sad, y'all. It's sad. This is why so many women are becoming positive. Y'all get it now? When y'all you get to doing them numbers, I'm gonna do the number myself because I was in that article last week and they did the art, they did the numbers for Illinois, for Chicago. I'm gonna do the numbers and I'm gonna do another video tomorrow about these women. You see why so many women is become you see why so many women is becoming HIV positive. Y'all having too much fun sleeping with other people, men. Y'all having too much fun sleeping with other people's husbands. Y'all got to stop. Y'all have to stop this. This is just, it's bad, y'all. It's bad. Not only that, a lot of y'all women allowing these men to live in a house with y'all. How? How would you allow men to live in a house with you you don't know? And you have kids. Now, you done took her husband. You think you done took her husband. They done broke up, whatever. And you done took her husband and y'all here in the house with you. And now he's cheating on you and causing you emotional pain. And now your daughter is seeing this. Now your son is seeing this. A man they don't know. A man they don't trust. A man they don't really care about. It's hurting their mother. Now you causing your kids pain. It's so many levels to this. And that's why I get so upset. Because you're not only hurting yourself. You're hurting your kids. And you're hurting your future. And when I say you're hurting your future. I just did a video the other day about a woman that's been um getting hiv tested for years because she slept with somebody that was hiv positive and she don't really believe in undetectable so she think at any given time she is going to become hiv positive and a lot of y'all having fun sleeping with people husbands sleeping with people wives and y'all men y'all ain't no bad no no y'all men ain't no different either y'all want to sleep with all the women too y'all want to sleep with everybody y'all a lot of y'all don't even want a wife or a girlfriend but y'all want to sleep around with everybody and y'all don't care either. Y'all don't care just like women. Y'all, listen, people don't care. I used to say this all the time. I just want to be normal again. I want to be normal. I'm not normal. I am normal. This is the new normal for me. But a lot of y'all that's having unprotected, uh, listen, a lot of y'all that's having unprotected sex and are uneducated about this world of HIV and STDs, y'all want to be over here with me. That's how I see it sometimes. And I swear, I pray to God y'all don't take offense to this. But this is just facts about what's going on. You keep on doing what you're doing, not using condoms, sleeping with other people's wives, husbands, girlfriends, kids, and all this stuff. You're going to become, you're going you're gonna to have to um, accept the new normal for your life. If, if, if you become HIV positive, you will have to accept a new normal for your life because you chose to have unprotected listen you can sleep with whoever you want to a husband a wife a girlfriend whoever use condoms at least do that much for yourself it's to use a condom because it's wrong already it's sin it's sin adultery fornication whatever it's all sin at the end of the day but the least you can do 
is use a condom, y'all. And listen, men ain't quick to approach another man and be like, yeah, I was smashing your girl. I was smashing your wife. Men don't do that. They just smash and they, what up, homie? You know what I'm saying? Keep going. But y'all women, y'all so evil. Stop approaching these women about their husbands and their boyfriends and their fiancés, baby. Stop doing that. Stop. You mad at him because he got another girlfriend. He got a wife. He got you as a girlfriend and he got other girlfriends. Why is you telling his wife that you think his wife don't already know? How dare you? <laughs> Come at her like that and tell her about her cheating husband. Like she don't know that her husband is a cheating husband. That's so stupid to me. Why do y'all do that? Why do you want to tell the wife that he cheating on you with somebody else? You're stupid. That is so stupid to me. I can't even, can't even digest this stuff. It's foolish. It's foolishness. And you, you talking about all this, that man is HIV positive. You got other stuff to worry about, baby. Going to the nearest emergency room, taking your rapid HIV test. But you worried about crying to his wife because he's sleeping with other people. And you've been taking care of him and you've been doing all this stuff. No, baby. No, baby. Let's not worry about that. Let's get you to the doctor. And I, we could talk about that later. That's what I would have said. I probably, girl, I would have put that for my other phone and start talking to one of my friends. Girl, where you at? I got to bring this girl up over there so she can get one of the rapid tests. You got tests in the office today? I straight would have took her to the doctor. Don't come at me. See, that's what I'm saying. That's why, see, I'm so open. That's probably why I ain't got no husband right now. That's probably why I ain't got no boyfriend. I'm just doing this dating thing. Don't don't don't, don't come to me talking about you, you sleeping with somebody I'm sleeping with because I'm going to get you together. Talk, have one conversation with me. It'll change the direction of your life. You might not even want to have sex no more. No, you, you definitely going to want to have sex. But you're going to have healthy sex when I'm done talking to you. I don't like it. I don't like that. Listen, y'all. I don't like it. It, it upsets me. It, ups, it really upsets me for women to approach a wife and ask and, and tell her about her problems with her husband. How can you do that? How can you tell a wife that you having problems with her husband? You're disrespecting God. You ain't got no, you don't have no, you disrespecting yourself. You disrespecting God. You disrespecting your life. You disrespecting that wife. And you need to repent and ask God to forgive you. Because that's how the teen and wife don't forgave you already. This, this stuff is really sad to me. And a lot of y'all don't have to go through that. A lot of y'all don't have to be HIV positive. Really. Honestly. A lot of y'all can skip HIV. I'm Like, I'm sure of it. A lot of you guys can sip, skip HIV. All you got to do is get educated. Use condoms. And the person that you choose to have sex with, have open, serious conversations with them. It can be a lifesaver. But instead, y'all want to sneak around and do other stuff. I just don't understand it. Give me a chance in y'all body. I'm telling y'all, I will cherish it. I would cherish it. I used to be jealous of y'all. Like, it, really, I'm so serious. I used to be jealous of people that wasn't positive. Like, oh my God, they're not positive. They're not positive. I just wish I wasn't positive. And so I accepted that, you know what, I am positive because I chose to do the same thing that they do. So I don't want to be normal. I don't want to be that normal no more. Because if I had an opportunity to do life all over again and be normal like everybody else that's not positive i would be switching over to the new normal anyway because i would i would have did the same thing that everybody else do and that's why i'm so strongly on what i do and what i say and i'd be so serious because if i was not sitting here right now a 40 year old woman living with hiv i probably would have got it anyway down the line because i wouldn't have been using condoms i was not educated about it it's just that simple this thing is not uh, not um this thing is not really that hard. You just don't use condoms and you may possibly get HIV. You sleep with people that you think you trust and you don't use condoms. A lot of us get HIV by people that we love and trust. This is really simple. And I hope I'm breaking it down simple as I can because it's not hard at all. Y'all don't have to go through this. Listen, y'all don't. Y'all don't have to be like me. I talk so much about positivity and uplifting stuff. I rarely even ever show y'all the angry side of me. I get angry. I'm literally writing this poetry book. I, I don't, I'm not a poet by far. I'm so angry and I don't even want to do the book no more. But I've already said I was going to do it. 
So I have to do it because if I said I'm going to do it, I got to be a woman of my word. It's hurting me to even put the poems together because I'm not talking positive right now in, in, in this. My emotion, I am still angry I have HIV, y'all. I didn't realize it until I started writing this freaking book. And I'm upset. I don't want to do it no more. But so many people see me as being positive. So many people see me as being uplifting and all of that. And that's fine because that's who I am. But it was a time where I was not like this. I was upset. I was angry. I was bitter. I was mad. I was hateful. I wanted to die. Praise be to God. I'm not that way no more. But for some reason, those emotions is coming out in, this, in, in the poems. And I think I need to do it because there's a lot of y'all that need to see that. I was not always this way. I was sad. It messed up. And I think that's what that I think that's what this is a part of my healing. I have to show the angry side of HIV. Because it's not, listen, y'all, a lot of y'all, I know y'all know. It's not always praise God. <laughs> it's not always I'm gonna wake up today and I'm gonna kill the world and live. <laughs> no, it ain't always been that way. It's been hard days. I feel like why I got HIV, why I have to have it. I don't want this. I don't want to take no fucking medicine. I just hate this shit. It's times when I felt like that. And that's what I'm, I'm expressing in, this, in these poems. They not rhyming or nothing. It's just anger. Just <laughs> Oh my God. I shouldn't even told y'all that. I'm supposed to be telling y'all something else. But I guess this, I'm telling y'all this is because I'm angry at women. I'm angry at women that laugh at other women for accepting cheating men or being with a cheating man and you laugh y'all laugh at us and we're funny but the whole time it's a, it could be a whole nother situation going on that you know nothing about and that thing right there can kill you that thing right there can be the the, the change um that you never want a lot of people won't change and there's a lot of people that don't want that type of change for their life and if you keep on doing the things that you're doing, you're going to get that type of change and you're not going to be able to accept it easily. HIV is not accepted easily. It takes years, sometimes decades to say, you know what? I have HIV and I'm not going to let it. I'm not going to let it bother me no more. I'm going to live in my truth. It takes time for that. It requires a lot of change and a lot of y'all ain't ready for that. So listen, please, please, if y'all don't listen to nothing else at the end of this video, but listen to this. Let's get educated, y'all, about HIV and AIDS. Let's care more about our life. Let's care more about our bodies. Let's care more about ourselves and get educated about HIV, y'all. And let's stop having sex with other people's partners. Let's stop having unprotected sex. Let's stop not having sex conversations with the person that we are intimate with. Let's normalize having open conversations about sex, STDs, and all these different type of things with the partners that we have. We have to normal normalize this. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> we have to normalize this, y'all. I'm serious. I'm laughing, but I'm so freaking serious. We have to do better, especially us women, y'all. Us as women, we have to learn how to stick together. Stick together and hold each other hand and help each other. I'm so glad I'm not as angry as I used to be because I wasn't, uh, I used to try to help people, but not, I used to, I was helping them, but scared. You can't help nobody while you're scared, you know, but now um, I'm so proud of myself because I'm not afraid to help anybody at all. We have to come together as women. It is so important, y'all. It's so important. And I'm going to check those numbers and I'm going to come back tomorrow with the numbers for women living with HIV in the United States. I'm coming back with that tomorrow. Y'all, listen, do not forget to love on y'all self. It is the best thing you can do for your life, for your life, not nobody else's life, is to become the best version of you every day of your life. Today, you could be one version, and tomorrow, you can recreate that version. That's why I love waking up. I love every day. Every day is another day to recreate yourself. Do y'all know we capable of that? We are capable of creating another uh, another side to us every day. Powerful. That's powerful. And it all starts with change and changing yourself within, y'all. Y'all, enjoy y'all Tuesday.